everybody, it's Paul from Screenwriting Scribe. Hey, I've been an amateur screenwriter for the last 10 years and I've been really working on the screenwriting uh, software space from the last two. Uh, I remember when I first got into screenwriting, uh, one of the things I asked myself was how can I do a lot of this for free uh, because I didn't have a lot of money. Uh, I have more money now to spend on stuff and I see that as a tool, but just getting into the business, I think it's important to see that there's a lot of free resources. So as you can see if you really like to do screenwriting in the first place. So today I'd like to give you five types of resources. Under each type of resource, I'm hopefully going to give you at least two to three different places you can go to look at these different resources. So let's start with the first one free scripts. So with each of the free resources, I will include in the description what the website is and stuff like that. The first one we're going to look at is simply scripts. Um, and we can go down through and take a look. You can see it at the top here. Uh, we're going to look at movie scripts. Now just to remind you, as you're looking at free scripts, uh, you're going to have to, it really depends on what type of script uh, when you download it, you're going to get. Um, so like if we look at Desperado, second draft script by Roger Rodriguez. And so as we're looking at this, you have to remember uh, some of these you're getting are um, shooting scripts. They're not the actual script that they, uh, the first draft of a script that they wrote. So there's different ways when you look at a screenplay that you, you can notice that. So basically you would just download and then you can read the script and you can just see what it looks like. See, there you go. So that's simply scripts. Uh, let me give you a couple other ones. Next one I want to feature is the script lab. Uh, again, a lot of these scripts that you're going to be seeing are going to be older scripts uh, that are not new. Sometimes you do get some of the some of the Oscar award winning scripts will be online, uh, but most of the time they're going to be older scripts. So just keep that in mind as you're looking through. So you can take a look at some of these different scripts that they can have. Again, just simply click on them, um, and then uh, you can create an account to sign up. And then uh, you can you can uh, download a um, script from from the uh, script lab. The next one we we'll look at is screenplays um, dash online de. Again, you can take a look at this. You're simply clicking on the screenplay that you like, and voila, you get to read it as you read through. You will notice a lot of times when you're you can also download a lot of these if you right click on something. You can also download it as a PDF. But just remind if you read it online, you're going to get a lot of advertisements. They're free. They, the company the the website still has to make money, which is why you'll see a lot of of advertisements on their site. Our second type of free resource is online classes. Um, a lot of times I look at YouTube to look at different things. There's a lot of different uh, YouTube channels that are wonderful uh, ones to look at to give you ideas on how to create characters and stuff like that. Some of these might be controversial because you may have you may know some of the YouTubers, uh, but to give these ones a, a, a look see. So let's take a look at the first one. So one of the first people I'd like to point out to you today is Tyler Moyer. Uh, now I know he's got a little bit of people either really like him or they really don't like him. Uh, I, I know some of that has to do with his recent uh, failed business in the screenwriting space, uh, but I found a lot of his stuff helpful. Um, again, you can look at a lot of his a lot of his stuff online for free. You know how to write a perfect climax, how to write a perfect screen uh, scene. Um, you're not the big picture of your screenplay. I mean, he's got a lot of different things, uh, different lessons, and they're all bite size, and they all are very good at talking about. He's a really good teacher. Um, now, just to know about Tyler, he also, I believe, he's not sold anything yet, but he's a really, I think he's really good at getting concepts out and helping people. He also has um, a, uh, he also has uh, a weekly podcast or show where he talks people about their scripts and stuff like that. So he's a great place to start. So Tyler Moyer. Another person I think is great is Nathan Graham Davis. Um, he's also on YouTube tier. He's actually a Hollywood screenwriter living in Massachusetts. He has another wonderful type of classes talking about uh, different as aspects of screenwriting. He also has watch parties with a lot of creators. Uh, recently, he did a watch party with the Blood of Zeus with its creators, as well as watching the princess with the guys who wrote it. Um, so he's got a lot of great practical screenwriting advice. I highly recommend. Uh, I'm subscribed to him, so take a look at him and see what he's like. Another person I think is a great person who knows the screenwriting industry really well um, and can give you some uh, great advice um, is Paul Guyette. Um, he wrote uh, several Highwood movies. Um, he's also done several episodes of NCIS New Orleans. Um, so he's on TikTok. I would take a look at his stuff. He also originally wrote the book Kill the Dog, uh, which is sort of a, <laughs> a take on Save the Cat, 
uh, sort of antithesis of Save the Cat. And just to prove that I really like Paul Giat's stuff, here's my book, Kill the Dog. Like I said, uh, again, you don't have to buy the book. Um, I, I do because I really like what Paul says, and he's got a really great way of thinking of it. But just as a ref free resource, he's a wonderful person uh, in terms of that um, to sort of help you with screenwriting and stuff like that. So take a look at him. He's on TikTok, not on YouTube. He's got a very small channel on YouTube, but give him a look-see. So number three, screenwriting software. And now there's a couple, two that I'm going to recommend to you. There's a, there's a couple more out there, but two that I will recommend. Uh, the first one is one that I use a lot, and I did actually buy it eventually, uh, but Fade In. Uh, it's a great just word processing program. Uh, it's great at just helping you just, it's really, uh, it doesn't have a lot of other bells and whistles, but it's really good at what it does. There's not a lot of errors with it. It works well with PC and with uh, Macs. And so I would really advise if you just want a word editor to help you just uh, write out everything, just get the free version of Fade In. Uh, you won't be disappointed in that. The second screenwriting software I think is a great sort of fit for a lot of people, especially if you want a little bit more, uh, is Kitsinaris. Now, uh, disclaimer for Kitsinaris, the developers are no longer working on it uh, because they're working on a new project called Story Architect. Uh, I'll also link that video in the description below. That's not as free uh, like Kitsinaris was, but what you get for Kitsinaris is, is really pretty nice. You have a research key where you can work on your title page and all that sort of stuff, but you can... Uh, uh, look at different characters, you can look at different doc, uh, locations, you can include documents and stuff like that. It's got a runner for card feature. Now you do have that in Fade In, uh, but you have a, a nice research feature. Um, and it just seems to be a little bit more, I don't know, I like this card feature better. I don't know, the corkboard just, I, I really enjoy that. Uh, but it's, uh, again, it's it's free. It's There's not a ton of bells and whistles. These are, these, uh, are both not Final Draft. Uh, Final Draft has a little bit more features than the both of these do, but at the end of the day, um, these are both free, and this will let you know if something like you want to buy something later on uh, works well. The nice thing, and I'll plug my channel uh, just for this particular point, is I have guides on how to begin with Fade In as well as Kitsinaris. I will have those linked on the end cards at the end of this video, so that way you can see uh, if you have trouble using Fade In or Kitsinaris, also just leave a comment in this video below and I can help you out with that too. Number four, uh, AI. And in this particular case, I would recommend Chat GPT. And the reason why I would include this one in there, now don't click off just yet. Um, and this is not about Chat GPT writing your screenplay. You can have it do that. But I intend to use Chat GPT more as a writing partner you know if I get stuck with how do I what are, give me some scenarios about how I can change the ending of this particular scene or how can I use different dialogue for this particular scene I use it uh, in, in basically like I said just as a writing partner I don't use it to actually write me the whole screenplay but when I get stuck or if I need names or it helps me with research and stuff like that so that's what I think ChatGPT, a blessing for ChatGPT is for, for beginning screenwriters, use it as a writing tool. Don't use it to write your script, but to use it as uh, to bounce ideas off of or to brainstorm different ideas. And the fifth resource that we're going to talk about today is Cover 5X. And so once you get your screenplay done, the next sort of phase is to sort of figure out, okay, I need to get some notes. I need to have somebody read my screenplay. One of the best places to do that for free is on Coverfly X. So one of the things I want to talk about with Coverfly X is it's free peer-to-peer -peer script notes, which means you're having other screenwriters give you that. Are they in the industry? Maybe, maybe not. Um, the other thing to do that you need to know before that you're actually able to get notes is you have to give notes. Um, so they go on sort of like a, a, a coin or token system uh, so if we take a look at our my dashboard here, so normally what happens is these are projects that are looking for people for notes. Um, you can claim these, you get a certain set amount of tokens, and as you can see how many tokens I've gotten. So I've read a lot of scripts here. So if I want to go back and have somebody read my stuff, I can put my uh, script up online and put it for four tokens or for five tokens or three tokens or whatever the case may be, and then someone will read it, give me a set of notes, and then... Um, I can see what those are and I can put my selection up for various amounts of time. Um, and to, it didn't take very long for me to accumulate this many amount of notes uh, or tokens. I really have enjoyed reading the scripts and some of the resources that I've been looking into just doing, feed, and you can see my feedback 
rating is 4.33 out of 5. It took me a little while to get the right type of feedback and to be uh, to give people the type of feedback that they needed. I read a couple of books and articles that really helped me with figuring out how to give feedback to people. So I think that's a pretty good feedback rating of 4.33 uh, out of 5 <laughs> since it took me a good 4 to 5 scripts in order to figure out how to really give feedback to folks. So there you go. There are five different resources that cover you from looking at scripts to how to figure out how to write a script uh, with people who can give you lessons about how uh, different ways of screenwriting looks. You have free software. You actually have a free writing coach. And then you also get free feedback as well, too. Well, what other resources are you looking for as a beginning screenwriter? Let me know in the comment section below. Again, everything will be in the description. Well, until the next video, live well and write well.